Hey y'all, it's that time again for another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton here at Webtegrity in San Antonio, and I've just gotten back from hanging out and, and being honored to speak at WordCamp DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth area. Had a blast and got to meet some of y'all awesome subscribers who hang out on this channel with me. Y'all were there and you came up to me and said hi, and I so appreciate seeing y'all's beautiful faces and getting your feedback. And one of y'all asked me, Deb asked me if I... I would be able to do the next video on donation options. So that's what we're going to look at today. I do have another video that I did just about a year ago, almost exactly this time last year, um, about accepting payments. So I'll put the link to this video in the description box below because I actually cover quite a few different plugin options for making payments. But because of Deb's question, I decided to go ahead and keep looking through uh, what might be brand new since it's been a full year since I've done this. Is there another option? So check this out, you guys. I found another plugin that could certainly be a solution to donations on your website. So let's look at this. It's called Give. Um, it's, it's definitely, uh, so it's specifically a WordPress plugin. I am going to install it right now. I've not done that uh, yet at all. I've never used this plugin before, and what I'm going to do today with you is do an honest review, an open, honest, real-time, in a sense, review where you get to see all my blunders, all my issues, and plugging it in, see what the experience is like in sort of this uh, real-time type video setting. So what I do know, the, the research that I have done on it is um, just by watching this quick little YouTube video that they have that does tell me it has some of the features that Deb was asking about. A lot of times on your site you want reoccurring payments or you want the ability to set different levels for payments or you want to be able to get the financials from the individuals so that you know where to send a receipt or you want the system itself to send an automatic receipt. How do you do that without looking clunky and just using PayPal all the time? How do you do that? It seems as though this plugin might be the actual solution for that. So let's take a look. Um, I'm going to go ahead, th this is what it looks like over here. This is the other thing, just really quickly before I move forward, I want you to always do this. So moving forward in the future, if you're watching this video in a month, two months, ten months, two years, whatever it is, if you're watching this video, I want you to be sure before you plug this in, that it still has outstanding ratings, that it still has a lot of active installs, and that of course it's been updated recently, and that it's compatible with the version of WordPress that you're using. It's very, very important that you research this prior to plugging something like this into your site, especially when it has to do with uh, accepting payments, credit card information. So here I am logged into my staging site. I'm going to go ahead and click Add New in the Plugins area. Of course, if you are on the WordPress.com version, you're not able to see this. This is only self-hosted WordPress sites. And we're going to look for Give. Do a quick search for it. And here it is, Give WordPress Donation Plugin. Again, outstanding reviews. And it is compatible with my version. I'm going to click Install. And I'm going to go ahead and activate. So the other thing I do know from doing a little bit of research is, of course, this is very typical to free plugins, is you get a little bit up front for free, and then, of course, there's going to be a, a paid option for a pro version or these add-ons that they're uh, showcasing or advertising. So let's, let's experience this together. Here we go. So I've activated it. This is the first screen it takes me to. Here's the thing. A lot of people don't do this. Uh, a lot of people don't just read. Just stop for a second now, and we're going to read down this page and see what the instructions say. Uh, a lot of times our students look at this and go, okay, now what do I do? And they t start to scroll and they want to start clicking on stuff, and there's just, let's read. Thank you for activating or updating the latest version of Give. If you're a first-time user, welcome. You're well on your way to empowering your cause. We encourage you to check out the plugin documentation. That's great to see. So that basically means those are your instructions on how to set things up. So if you click on that, um, you get to come over here and see all of the different, it looks like PDF files that are going to be instructions to help us set this up on our site. Um, be sure to sign up for the Give newsletter if you want to stay informed about the updates. And then let's look down the page and see what else it offers. So here's getting started. We'll jump in there. And we want to create a new form. So it's an area to add forms. So notice it says that there should be an a, a area on our left nav over here for uh, donations. And there it is right here, donations. So we'll want to add new form. 
See, it just gives you step-by-step -step instructions. So already I'm impressed with that because a lot of times plug-in uh, uh, authors don't give you very, very detailed step-by-step -step instructions and it does get a little bit of confusion uh, happening. So uh, this is pretty cool. Step one is create a new form. And it says uh, from the add new form page, you'll be able to choose how and where you want to receive your donations. You'll be able to set that doma donation amounts. You'll even get to choose whether you want to create a whole page for your form or embed it on a different page of your site. That's a nice feature. But all the features begin simply by going to the menu and choosing add new form. Uh, second step, we'll go do that in one second. Second step, choose your levels. So each form can be set to receive either a predetermined amount or have multiple suggested levels of giving. Choosing multiple level donations opens up a level section where you can add as many levels as you'd like with your own custom names and amounts. So that's pretty spectacular. And then landing page or short code mode. So this looks like it's just an option to do uh, yes, display the content. Uh, above the form fields, yes, display the below the form fields. You get to add in a short code or put it on a page. Configure your display options. Here's that. Lastly, you can present the form in a lot of different ways. So that's kind of cool to take a look at. So let's go do it. Y'all ready? Here we go. Donations. Add form. Let's see what it looks like. So we're going to title this for now. Testing. Set donation, so uh, let's do, let's go for it and do multiple donation levels. And let's say, you know, $5. Um, basic help, that's default, sure, at a level. So far, so easy, $10. Giving heart, and then let's do $25 and say, Give big. All right, so those are, you know, and I'm going to just go ahead and set that to default as the 25 because that's what I'd really rather have. So display style, do you want these to be buttons that they click on or uh, radio buttons, meaning that they can only choose one? Or do we want uh, it to be, uh, or this would be, this actually right here, what you're seeing right here is a radio button, this little round button. So this is probably set to look more like an actual button, like something like this. So I'm going to leave it with that. I think that's nice. Custom amount. Uh, do you want the users to be able to input their own donation amount? That's kind of nice. Um, give your own amount. How about that? That's kind of cool. Um, do you have a goal for this? Wow, that's a really cool feature. So maybe you have a building project or maybe you have a, a you know, s some sort of a goal that you, you guys are trying to reach, let's say $5,000. We can throw that in there and say, okay, do you want to display the amount that's already been raised or percentage to show, hey, we're 20% there. Hey, we're 50% there. What color do you want the progress bar to be? So this could start to match the customization of your website now with a color scheme. That's really cool. You would just click on that and choose your color palette. So we change things around and get over to, let, let's go closer to our, our uh, crazy um, web integrity bluish, something like that. Uh, close form when goals achieved. Wow. So basically, if we hit our 5,000, this, this form would close and not accept any more donations. We don't want to do that. We want to just, we want to leave that open and let people just keep giving, right? Uh, display content. So yes, do we want to display content above and below? And payment field. Uh, so show on page, reveal upon click. Or a modal. A modal is like a pop-up window, pretty much. That's what that is. Completion, a complete donation text so this is the button for completing the text and that can just say donate today or make a difference or whatever you want that call to action button to say that's basically uh, triggering the donation the default gateway so by default the gateway for this form will inherit the global default gateway see under giving settings okay so there's a settings area that we probably need to go to to set up how we're actually going to be accepting these payments um, this is, do you want to require users to log in? So do you want them to, do you want to absolutely have to have their contact information? If you do, then you should, um, not allow guest donations basically. Uh, so register login form. How do you want that to be for their registration? Man, this has a lot of options all the way down. Do you need terms and conditions set in place? If you do, 
uh, do you want to say agree to terms and you can copy and paste all your terms in here this is huge a lot of donation options especially if you're just grabbing something from PayPal and you don't have this capability this is already set in here so I just want to keep going down to see is all this available for free I mean I haven't paid anything yet I've, I've just installed the free uh, plugin so far I get to see also here's my um, Here's my short code for embedding it on a page. I'm going to go ahead and publish what I have right now. Um, notice here it says, you know, it, it's looking for um, uh, a file. It says this may cause issues with it. So we might want to take a look at that and be sure that everything's functioning correctly. But for now, I'm going to go to a page and just click Add New. So I can say uh, Test Donations here. And I'm going to drop in my short code. And I want to preview the page just to see what this form is looking like. So remember that it's going to take on a lot of styling from your website's theme, right? Uh, so that's probably a little bit of, of what we've got going on here. Uh, giving heart is my 10. Give big is my 25. Basic help. Create your, give your own amount. Wow, check that out, you guys. This is pretty cool. Look how nice this is. And there's our donate today. So if we're doing the the give give big it's 25 bucks and donate today and you're ready to rock and roll of course these are my colors from my theme so let's just quickly jump into the settings area and see how we would actually um let's let's uh, save draft for this see how we would actually set up the payment gateway and see what sort of add-ons are available for us because one thing that I did realize I know this is being a really long tutorial for us today but one thing I did realize was that it does have additional add-ons for uh, other payment gateways like authorize.net PayPal stripe we pay uh, and more and more and more and more I know you can incorporate it with MailChimp so that's kind of cool so um, PDF receipts that's pretty fantastic you guys they've got some amazing add-ons however I will say this I've already checked out their prices and they're a little bit of a higher budget um, so but I it feels like you get you get a lot a lot of bang for the buck and you can bundle things together if, if you only wanted let's let's jump back here for a second if you only wanted to do you know the reoccurring uh, donation option you can jump over here and see what that would look like just to purchase a singular license uh, for, for just this let's see if it'll, it'll allow you uh, reoccurring donations okay here you go here you go check this out or just get this add-on so there you go a single license is 127 but seriously if you bundle and save you're getting a lot more so um, basics you get 15 13 of the premium add-ons uh, for 147 uh, and then of course they've got different uh, different levels here please note though that this is per year you'll have to come back again and renew your license and purchase this a lot of times though uh, these plugins offer you a discount when it comes down to that time of the year all right so let's see if this is going to function uh, really quickly let's finish up so payment gateway I'm in my settings area success page so once they donate you can uh, redirect them to a successful page that's pretty nice fill transaction page so it looks like they automatically created these uh, pages for you inside of your website as you activated the plugin which is super nice very thoughtful of them you can set your different currencies here if you're in a different country payment gateways let's jump in here so right now I'm in test mode and uh, it looks like right away what you get is uh, a PayPal standard option so you would uncheck these whenever you're able to uh, go ahead and start accepting and you could choose your PayPal here's your email uh, associated with your PayPal account uh, so that you get the alerts so the money comes to your account it looks that simple you guys you would just follow through all of this here's your email instructions here's your um, uh, display options it looks like here are your emails here for setting up the um, the receipts that's really nice for them to automatically get a receipt so your your organizing team or your accounting department doesn't have to mess with that you guys this looks like the real deal obviously if you need advanced add-ons you're gonna have to pay but it looks like out of the gate this would work for you if you're using this plugin or something else will you put it in the description box below and let us know what you guys are using for your payments uh, and for any donations on your WordPress site I'm so excited to see how this works for you let us know and I'll catch you next WordPress Wednesday bye y'all